Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This video will cover the infectious arthritis along with Lyme disease. The references are these. The infective organism can enter into a joint by a hematogenous spread. They can be inoculated directly through aspiration, injection or by surgery. They can go there by trauma or by uh, through accidents or uh, they can be uh, extended from the uh, soft tissue injury or abscess near a joint or can be a uh, extension of the local uh, of the nearby osteomyelitis the types of the uh, infectious arthritis can be bacterial tuberculosis lyme arthritis viral arthritis and fungal arthritis the causative organism for uh, bacterial arthritis are different according to age group. In children below the age of 2 years, the Haemophilus influenza is most common responsible for microorganism, while the Staphylococci are responsible for older children and adults. Gonococci are responsible for uh, separative arthritis in adulthood, while gram-negative bacilli such as E. coli, Salmonella, Pseudomonas and others are responsible for, are also responsible for this uh, infectious arthritis. Uh, Individuals with sickle cell disease are prone to the infection with Salmonella at any age. Uh, Gonococci are, uh, are more commonly isolated organism from females uh, who have got separative arthritis. All other organisms are equal in both genders. Then the predisposing condition for this disease are immune deficiencies, both the congenital and acquired one, debilitating illness, joint trauma, chronic osteoarthritis of any cause, osteomyelitis and intravenous drug abuse are other predisposing Further elaborating this, the high-risk high groups are children below the age of uh, two years, uh, intravenous drug abusers, then hemodialysis patients, sexually active persons, uh, especially the poly, uh, who are practicing polygamy, then person uh, taking strides and diabetes mellitus are uh, high-risk groups. Then patient with cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, joint prosthesis, uh, trauma and uh, patient who have got the IV cannula, they are also among the high risk group for this disease. Pathogenesis uh, of this uh, separative arthritis, there is acute synovitis with purulent joint effusion. The synovial membrane is edematous, swollen and hyperemic and produce increased amount of synovial fluid which is cloudy, exudate in nature and it has got leukocytes and can, bacteria can be isolated from this synovial fluid or both on microscopy and through culture. The spread of the infection within this uh, uh, joint space lead to the enzymic dis destruction of the articular cartilage. There is presence of abscesses and sinuses, multiple abscesses and sinuses. Then these sinuses burst out and pus can be extruded from these sinuses or uh, this uh, bacterial arthritis in advanced stage can lead to pathologic dislocation. Uh, more than 90% of the cases were present with acute pain and the knee joint is most commonly affected. Though the, the hip joint, shoulder, elbow, wrist and sternal clavicular joints are also affected. The, jo the joint is typically swollen with restricted movement of the joint. Uh, investigation uh, for the uh, confirmation of the diagnosis, joint aspirate and microbial uh, investigation of the uh, fluid are necessary. Uh, usually a gram stain is done which is iso which uh, identify the organism and in 75% of the patient, uh, the, if these patients are affected by a staphylococcal infection, 75% of the patient get a positive result and uh, if the infection is by gram-negative organism, you will get only 50% uh, positive result. Then crystal examination should be uh, done for this uh, joint fluid because there may be coexistence of the uh, joint uh, other pathology such as gout or any other crystal induced arthritis. 
synovial fluid, glucose, protein and lactic acid are non specific and then blood culture is the definitive method for aerobic and anaerobic organism and are positive in 85 to 95 percent of the cases. CBC is, uh, shows non specific features but though leukocytosis increase ESR and CRP can be seen. So this uh, suppurative arthritis or infectious arthritis can be uh, diagnosed uh, on synovial fluid morphology. Uh, the synovial fluid in septic arthritis becomes opaque and it is uh, large in volume with low viscosity and total white cell counts uh, may become more than 50,000 and most of these uh, WBCs are polymorphs. Uh, the other two giant uh, diseases such as osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis should be differentiated from this suppurative arthritis. So this is the histopathologic appearance of the suppurative arthritis which is showing the uh, presence of pus infiltration by the chronic inflammatory cells and uh, there is granulation tissue formation. Now coming to mycobacterial arthritis, the risk group for the development of mycobacterial arthritis are immunocompromised individuals and immigrants from the endemic countries. Repetitive joint injection with corticosteroids is another uh, risk group uh, and it should be considered in patients with pers persistent culture negative oligo or monoarthritis. History of exposure to TB and positive uh, tuberculin tests are also uh, a risk factor. Then uh, it, it, bone infection occurs from hematogenous seeding. It can be by primary TB or in latent TB and uh, 1 to 5 percent of the tuberculous patient they develop positive articular involvement. Classical presentation can involve the spinal cord, uh, spinal vertebral cord column or uh, uh, the most commonly affected joint is hip joint. Knees and ankle are also affected. It uh, can be associated with uh, gout and it is difficult to distinguish it, uh, uh, this entity from crystal induced arthritis. The pathology of this uh, mycobacterial arthritis involves synovium. To investigate the uh, mycobacterial arthritis in Nelson stain, which detect the acid fast bacilli uh, in the smear, then culture through Lewin's transgenson media, which can become, uh, which can take about six to eight weeks to become positive, or uh, then synovial histology is characteristic of tuberculosis, in which uh, caseating granuloma as seen in the upper diagram are seen. Uh, these granulomas consist of numerous uh, giant cells which, which in which the nuclei are arranged in horseshoe shape pattern and these are length and type joint cells and uh, the casation necrosis is also seen. Then the radiological feature of the mycobacterial tuberculosis are just articular osteoporosis, erosion, joint space narrowing, soft tissue swelling, subchondral cyst, periostitis and areas of calcification. The causative agents for the viral arthritis are alpha virus, parvo B19 virus, rubella, Epstein Barr virus, hepatitis B and C viruses. The disease manifests as subacute arthritis. There is direct infection of the joint by the virus such as uh, seen in the rubella and some alpha virus infections and it can be a, through uh, autoimmune injection triggered by the infection. Fungal arthritis are insidious in onset with indolent course. Generally, it's some mild inflammation and patterns are similar to that of tuberculous arthritis. The uh, common causative organisms are blastomycosis, candida, cocidiadomycosis, sporotrichosis, cryptococcosis, and histoplasmosis. Close to diagnosis are when there is trauma with a possible, possible sporotrichosis in a, in a collision, recent 
surgical procedure, presence of a prosthesis, travel to specific region in US or endemic countries, uh, immune deficiency, and this fungal arthritis is responsible for about less than 1% of the uh, people who have got arthritis and having prosthesis in their body. So Candida variety is most common fungal arthritis and is, it is the arthritis arising from the direct inoculation of the microorganism or by the hematogenous uh, dissemination. Clinical course is acute with marked synovitis or indolent or minor. It is monoarticular in 75% of the cases and knee is the most commonly affected joint. It is uh, seen commonly in intravenous drug abuser, immunocompromised state, ICU patients, hospitalized infants, prosthetic, post-operative joints or injected joints. Uh, infection related to the joint injection or surgery uh, have got characteristic pattern. They have chronic monoarticular indolent course uh, often caused by species other than Candida, Candida albicans and symptom may not develop until two years after surgery. Then the infections from the hematoma spread occur with the disseminated uh, candidiasis and clinical course is acute, marked synovitis uh, and uh, monoarticular. One other pet, another pattern of this fungal arthritis is cocoidiodomycosis. This cocoidiodomycosis is endemic in certain areas of the US and it is due to inhalation of the spores of cocoidiodes emitis. 1% of the patient who got uh, pulmonary disease, they develop disseminated disease and 10 to 50% of the patient who got the disseminated disease, they develop the musculoskeletal manifestation of the uh, of this uh, cocodiodomycosis. Yellow fever, arthritis, erythemal nodism and multiformy are usual uh, features. But in addition to these constitutional symptoms and erythema nodism, there is a symmetric polyarthritis that is termed as desert rheumatism. At, uh, and this include knee and ankle bilaterally. The pathogen, pathology, morphology of this condition is villus hyperatrophy, penis formation and bony region. Rice bodies are also seen. Lyme disease is caused by large micro aerophilic spirochetes belonging to the genus Borrelia. It is a chronic multi-system infection with a characteristic skin lesion and later involvement of the uh, cardiac, neurological or joint uh, disturbances. Uh, it is a common arthropod bone illness that can be localized or disseminated with a tendency to cause persistent arthritis. Uh, it is named after Lyme, which is a town in Connecticut and in this area in mid-1970s uh, there was an epidemic in which uh, numerous patients they reported arthritis with skin erythema. The common species which are responsible for these are Borrelia burgdorferi in US and Borrelia alzeli and Borrelia grenai in Europe and Asia. And transmission is by exodes deer tick which parasitize uh, rodents or birds and these exodes deer ticks are small pinhead size and they are found in wooded area where they feed on mice and deer. Uh, this disease is endemic in the US, Europe and Asia. About 30 to 40,000 cases per year are reported in the United States of America. Uh, the ticks which uh, are responsible for this, this disease are also uh, infected by Ehrlichia and Babesia. Diagnosis uh, is usually dependent on serology but it can be confirmed by the PCR of the, uh, of the uh, infected area. Uh, Lyme disease is a multi-system disease, multiple organs are involved and uh, it has divided into three stages, early localized disease, early disseminated disease and late disseminated disease. 
the early localized disease is limited to the area which is uh, area of the tick bite and uh, in this area the spirochete multiply and spread in the dermis and uh, they develop a, a lesion that is termed as erythema migrans and this is the expanding area of redness often with the pale center it is accompanied with uh, fever and lymphadenopathy also and uh, this rash is spontaneously uh, disappear in 4 to 12 weeks then the early disseminated stage, stage or disease occur uh, in which there is hematogenous spread of the microorganism within the body and uh, there is appearance of secondary skin lesion with lymphadenopathy migratory joint and muscle pain cardiac arrhythmia and meningitis Borrelia lymphocytoma is a disease which is caused by Borrelia elvizelae and it is common in Europe and it is blue to red swelling of the lobe or nipple with lymphocytic infiltration. Lately, many months or a year after the tick bite, there is development of uh, chronic arthritis with severe damage to the large, large joint which is more often seen with the Borrelia burgdorferi. Poly uh, neuropathy and cephalitis are uh, uh, mild to uh, debilitating, and uh, this encephalitis is less common in Europe than in USA. This graph is showing the three stages of the spirochetal uh, borrelia inf infection and uh, their correlation with the clinical sign and symptom and the immune response. So there is a spirochetemia uh, and peak of this spirochetemia and that's, then it declines in the early localized stage then spirochetemia is uh, also seen in the uh, this uh, early disseminated stage and the bacteria can be detectable in the blood in early disseminated stage but are not detectable in the late disseminated stage. The immune response is very low at the very initially and when it is early localized there is fever, erythema migrans and uh, rash only and, uh, and, the, and the disease is limited to the site of bite only so there is low uh, immune response and at the, and the early and uh, disseminated stage IgM start to appear and uh, they uh, vanish subsequently and late dissemination stage is characterized by the IgG antibody presence. Uh, early phase uh, early disseminated phase is characterized by the cranial nerve palsy, adenosine meningitis and carditis while uh, the musculoskeletal manifestation occur after the end of the early disseminated and they occur throughout, they present throughout the late disseminated stage and the uh, late neurological diseases such as post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome and neuroborreliosis are present in the throughout in the late disseminated stage. The host damage in borreliosis is not due to release of endotoxin or exotoxin but uh, these bacterial lipoprotein they bind with the TLR2 receptor on the surface of the macrophage and induce the release of the pro-inflammatory cytokines TNF and alpha and interleukin 1 and uh, there are uh, other bacteriocidal reactive nitrogen intermediate released also and they try to limit or reduce the infection. Uh, and uh, till now most of the damage is due to cytokines and the T cells. Uh, in two to four weeks there is development of uh, Borrelia specific antibodies and uh, it leads to direct complement mediated phagocytosis and killing. And uh, uh, but uh, this Borrelia they escape uh, this killing through antigenic variation of the this uh, variable large surface protein. Uh, this uh, there is Borrelia. They have got a plasmid which has got one promoter region and multiple coding sequences. So when uh, antibody against one variant of uh, this uh, variable large surface protein is made, there is 
formation of various combination and uh, and expression of a different uh, variable large surface protein so uh, this uh, by this mechanism these borrelia they escape the uh, killing uh, also the chronic manifestation may be due to the immune pons against some unknown bacterial antigen that uh, cross react with this self antigen so skin lesion of the of the uh, lyme disease are characterized by edema and lymphocytic plasma cell infiltrate while lyme arthritis which is common in uh, less than 10% of the cases of lyme disease uh, they are early or late lesion in the early lesion the synovium resembles that of rheumatoid arthritis with villus hypertrophy hyperplasia of the cell abundant lymphocytes and plasma cell in the synovium but the distinctive feature is the presence of arthritis Uh, which uh, produce onion skin like lesions within the arterial wall the late lesions are characterized by the extensive erosion of the cartilage in large joint lyme meningitis uh, exhibits csf uh, hypercellular uh, due to marked lymphoplasmocytic infiltrate and it contains immunoglobulin which is, which are against the spirochetes the early localized disease in lyme disease starts as erythema chronicum migrans which appears after 3 to 35 days of the tick bite it appears as erythematous macular papule which increases to an erythematous patch and measuring 3 to 7 cm in diameter it is intense red at the periphery with central clearing hence it is called an annular appearance of the lesion uh, the skin and synovium up to this uh, time on histology shows chronic inflammatory cell infiltrate and uh, uh, which are composed of lymphocytes and plasma cells mostly uh, and the patient experience fever fatigue headache arthralgia and regional lymphadenopathy uh, in 50% of the cases secondary annular lesion also develop and this secondary annular lesion uh, persists for a longer period and uh, during this time the patient also experience constant malaise and fatigue headache and fever constitutional symptoms only and uh, there are intermittent manifestations also such as meningeal irritation migratory myalgia cough generalized lymphadenopathy and testicular swelling the secondary annular lesion disappears in 4 to 12 week and the treatment for this early localized lesion is tetracycline or erythromycin early disseminated disease starts weeks to months after the uh, early localized lesion and uh, it is characterized by migratory musculoskeletal pain cardiac abnormalities such as myocarditis and atrial ventricular block which is present in 10% cases neurological abnormalities such as meningitis facial nerve palsy are present in 15% of the cases then late disseminated stage uh, Uh, occurs one to years after the early disseminated stage and it is characterized by lesion in joints skin and nerve in joint there is arthralgia and severe arthritis of large joint which is present in uh, 50% of the cases the knee joint is affected then skin shows uh, the lesion acrodermatitis chronica atrophicans in which there is patchy atrophy and sclerosis of the skin uh, the neurological system uh, exhibit intermittent paresthesias without demonstrable neurological deficit progressive uh, encephalomyelitis encephalomyelitis transverse myelitis organic brain syndrome and dementia in late disseminated stage the histology of the synovium is indistinguishable from that of uh, rheumatoid arthritis and there is a villus hypertrophy with a mononuclear infiltrate then the treatment of this late stage is high doses of intravenous uh, penicillin or other combination for a longer period